The world keeps on evolving and almost every day we hear about new robots being built. These humanoid robots are so insane you'll be amazed by all that they can do. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we'll list down the top 12 humanoid robots in 2023. Let's get started. Number 12. Robot Dogs Robotic dogs made by Boston Dynamics can't bark, but they can say full sentences thanks to creative AI. Levitas, a company that makes AI software, worked with Boston Dynamics to add OpenAI's ChatGPT to Spot, one of the company's robo-puppies that will be released in 2020. ChatGPT uses the voice technology of Google Assistant so that robot dogs can understand and talk to people face-to-face. -face. Nielsen says that at first, these AI-powered robot dogs were supposed to finish missions or long lists of tasks they were pre-programmed to do. For example, they were supposed to find spills and leaks and check for broken equipment in factories. Nielsen told Fast Company that only technical people can handle the huge amounts of data that the robot dogs would gather while doing these jobs. Number 11, Bina 48, is a robot face that can talk like a computer and make it easy to talk. Bina 48 is owned by Martin Rothblatt's TerraSem Movement. It was made by Hanson Robotics and came out in 2010. The way it looks is based on Bina Aspen, Rothblatt's wife. Bina 48 is a robot that can connect to the internet and has 32 facial motors hiding under a rubber skin. Even though the head and shoulder robots don't have a full body, they can make 64 different facial movements. It uses a mix of off-the-shelf software and its own artificial intelligence algorithms, as well as a microphone, voice recognition software, dictation software, two video cameras, and face recognition software to remember people who come back often. Number 10. Han Han is a robot that looks like a person and has facial expressions. He now lives in the Hong Kong Science Park offices of Hanson Robotics. Under his bald head, manly features, and slightly cynical smirk is a humanoid robot whose only goal is to serve. Han is mostly happy when he can help other people be happy. He seems to know deep down that his most important gift to the world may be showing us how to live together peacefully. Number 9. Philip K. Dick Hanson Robotics showed off Philip K. Dick at Wired Next Fest. David Hanson made it as a robot tribute to the same named science fiction writer. He did this by using hundreds of pages of the author's notebooks, letters, and written works. In 2005, the robot made by Hanson Robotics won the prestigious AAAI prize. Many people think this robot is so good that it will just take over and do everything humans do. Number 8. Google Homebots Some of their competitors have been around longer than Google Assistant Actions. Many of the activities made for Google Assistant are meant to work on both the Google Smart Speaker System and Android and iPhone phones. Chatbot Guide is a great place to learn about chatbot trends and the best ways to use them. A robot made with AI that can write any kind of text. You can ask it any question you want, as long as it doesn't go against the rules about what you can ask it. Bard will talk back. Number 7. Robert and Alice Robert and Alice are two robots that were made by Facebook AI Research. There have been rumors that these robots have made up their own evil-coded language and that they've had interesting but confused conversations with each other. Even though it's natural to be worried about two neural network-powered bots talking to each other in this way, it's important to remember that they were only doing what they were told to do, and the implications aren't nearly as bad as some media outlets would have you think. Facebook has decided that these bots must continue to talk in English that can be understood by humans. Number 6. Inspirational Robot This bot was made to take beautiful pictures. With the help of AI, you can quickly find customized and relevant quotes instead of spending hours looking for them by hand. Using a motivating quote generator, you can find personalized and relevant quotes quickly and easily, saving you time and effort giving you more motivation. After using this tool to make a few quotes, you can save it as a template to use again in the future. Social media managers can use the inspirational quote generator to come up with interesting material for their social media sites. Inspirational quotes are easy to share because they speak to a wide range of people. This makes followers more interested in what you have to say. Inspirational speakers and teachers can use the inspirational quote generator to find quotes to use in their talks, workshops, or one-on-one -on -one lessons. These quotes can be quite powerful motivators. Number 5. Adam and Eve This time, Adam and Eve are on a journey to learn, so it's not against the rules. 
As technology improves, scientists have been able to create more and more data in the lab by using computers and robots. Researchers are teaching their mechanical lab assistants to do more work because they're worried that there won't be enough people to make sense of all the raw data and turn it into conclusions. Adam is a great example of this. It's a tiny lab that works on its own and uses computers, robots, and lab equipment to do scientific studies, automatically come up with hypotheses to explain the results, test these hypotheses, and then figure out what the results mean. Number four, Sophia. Hanson Robotics made the software that makes Sophia smart. David Hansen, the founder of Sophia, says that about 70% of its source code is open source. Sophia sees the world through a computer vision system that reads information from cameras in her eyes. It can follow faces, keep eye contact, and know who people are. It can understand words and talk because it has a natural language subsystem. Gertzel talked about Sophia's AI methods, which include watching faces and figuring out how they feel, as well as using deep neural networks to make robots move. CNBC said that Sophia's skin was lifelike and that she could imitate more than 60 different facial expressions. Number 3. The Creeper on the Carpet The Carpet Crawler is a small robot that moves across your floor. The brain of this robot is a latching relay. The sensors are two micro switches and the muscle is a modified servo motor. The device is powered by two AAA batteries. A few LEDs make things brighter and the clever part of the crawler is the locking relay. Unlike a regular relay, a locking relay coil stays in its current state when the power is taken away. To flip it, send pulses of opposite polarity through the coil. It'll change state and stay that way until the next flip. It's like a memory repeater. Number 2. Human Mouth Robot It's made to look as much like a human mouth as possible. It has an air pump for lungs, eight fake voice cords, a silicone tongue, and even a nasal resonance cavity that opens and closes. It uses a microphone, like other robot mouths, to listen to itself talk, or whatever you want to call it, and figure out how to be more understandable and less, like, highly terrifying. Number 1. Alter Alter is a robot that was made to find out what it means to be lifelike. Alter looks like a machine that's been taken apart and put back together again. It does, however, look like a real person because of the way it moves. Even though these moves seem random, they change all the time because they're controlled by an algorithm that mimics the way neural networks and living things work. Alter doesn't move in ways that were planned ahead of time. Instead, her whole body moves in real time. Also, sensors record your answers and change how you move based on them. A central pattern generator, or CPG, makes a basic cyclical beat that moves away from the original pattern over time. Alter learns to do lifelike things by recreating on the computer a neural network made up of 1,000 nerve cells. These messages come from sensors. This is just the beginning. I'm pretty sure in the near future more humanoid robots will be developed and they'll amaze us in ways we can imagine. That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and comment down below with your thoughts on this topic. Thank you for watching.